This is the adapter for the Carista app. I have the app installed in my phone. So we can go ahead and see what it can do. This is a Toyota Corolla 2022. I hope it will be able to turn off the beeping for the seat belts at least because it's really annoying here. The adapter goes in your OBD port. Usually it's under the steering wheel. Let's see. There is a light on the adapter, so you know it's connected properly. Now let's open the app. Press connect. It says make sure your ignition is on, so don't forget that. Now the interface is easy to understand. You have the diagnose. This will scan the car for default codes. I don't think it will find any because this is almost new car. It has thousand kilometers. As you can see, it, it, it is not just the code reader because code readers scan just the engine, but it goes through all of your control units. It's a great tool for diagnostic. I'm curious what fault we have. Lost communication with navigation control module. I don't even have a navigation in this car so I think we can reset does it erase it yes because it can scan all of the control units it is worth the price because this Carista is really cheap and if it can do some customization this is really the great tool and also it is scanning pretty fast when I tried the OBD 11 for the Volkswagen I had 19 control units and it was like 10 minutes and this is, I don't know, maybe we are scanning for 3 minutes and it, it already went through 20, 22, 23 control units. Yeah, let's check the... Next we have live data. So the, oh, the live data, we have only two options. We have wheel speed shows the speed for all the wheels compressor speed I don't know what compressor it is maybe uh, for the AC let's try to turn the AC on yes yes it was it so for the live data there is no much here I don't know I, I need to try this on another car or you can let me know if someone has this app. Oh, let's check service. <clears throat> so we have uh, tire pressure sensors. If this can reset the TPMS, it's really worth the money. So it shows every the tire pressure in each tire and also it will give you the sensor ID. So I think you can if you need to replace the sensor, you would just copy this. This is the sensor ID. Then you install the new sensor and maybe you can rewrite ID for the new sensor. So the Tire pressure control module can communicate with the new sensor. We have deta detailed ECU information. It shows the VIN number. But engine ECU not present. Transmission ECU not present. It probably can't give you that much data. Now let's check what else. Emission test. I don't need to do this. This is diagnostic service live data. And now we can look into customization which is the reason probably the main reason why everyone will be buying this you need to wait maybe two minutes for the app to show you what is possible to customize in your inner car even with the without the customization it is worth the money because it can scan all of the control units usually when you buy simple code reader 20 to 50 bucks they can only read the engine codes and in the newer car you have like 20 plus control units. 
Okay, so now we have loaded the options, warnings. Okay, so we have we can turn off the seat belt war warning for the every seat. So now, when I don't use seat belt and I go over 20 kilometers, it will start beeping. So now we can turn it off. Disabled. I will go ahead and turn off the every the seat bell warning for every seat. Okay, so I have all five disabled. Now let's go to lights. Here you can change the number of flashes for the turn signal. So now it's set to three flares. So if I press this, we have one, two, three. I think I will set it to four. It will be probably better. You can go up to seven, but four will be enough. So let's try it now. One, two, three, four. And also I will test the seat belts if it stops beeping. See now I'm over 20 and there is no beeping. The warning is turned off, but the the dashboard light for the seat belt is blinking, but that, that does not bother me that much. At least I got rid of the annoying beeping. Now you have a bunch of options here. I think I, I won't be reading every one of them. Maybe the I would like to open and clo close the windows with my key, but I think it will be somewhere in here. Windows and sunroof. So I have the opening windows via long press on remote off and also closing so let's try it but i already tried and it doesn't work i'm holding the key and nothing is happening uh, let's set this to on so opening with the key will be on now and also closing now let's try it Oh, it's working. And closing. Works as well. So this tool is really good. It's worth the money. For the 40 bucks, I think you won't find anything better. For diagnostic, maybe some customizations. And also the service functions. There is no much of them, but for 40 dollars, it's really worth the money.